Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this horizontal scroll effect for your website. So here we can see that we have this header and if you scroll down, here we have this section and if you scroll down even more, we can see that it scrolls horizontally and after it displays all the sections over here, then it scrolls down. So now we can see that after this section is displayed, we have the next section displayed at the bottom and if you scroll up we can see that all these content scroll to the left and then we have the header displayed so in this video we will design this using a library called scroll trigger so let's get started Right here I have created this folder called horizontal scroll and I just opened it with VS code and I also have this folder called images where we have this image and uh, let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's create a new file called index.html. Let's create another file called style.css and let's create another file called main.js and let's start with the index.html file. So in VS code you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here let's type link and uh, let's link our CSS file over here. And here in the body I'll just link the JavaScript file. Alright now let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is uh, we'll create the header. So let's create a header tag. And in this header we'll just create an h1. And let's type welcome. And after that we'll just create an img tag. And in the source I'll just type images forward slash hero image dot jpg. And let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML file and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our content is displayed in the browser. Let's go back and let's continue adding the HTML. So after the header, we need to create another section and uh, let's give it an ID of horizontal. And uh, in this we will have all these uh, sections. So we have content 1, content 2, content 3 and content 4. So let's create divisions with the class of content. And uh, here let's create a paragraph and I'll just have content 1. And I'll just copy this and paste it three more times. Now you can add any type of content over here. I'll just add this text. So I'll just have content 2, 3 and 4. And then lastly, let's go outside this section and let's create a footer. And uh, I'll just create an H2 and uh, let's type thanks for visiting. And let's create a paragraph and let's add some lorem ipsum text. All right, so that's basically it with the HTML. Now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. So the first thing we will do is uh, we will target all the elements and uh, let's type box sizing border box so that all of them have the correct width and height and let's target the body and uh, let's remove the default margin and padding and uh, let's set the font family to enter and sans serif and now for the header let's give it a height of 500 pixels and uh, now let's target the h1 so let's tap header h1 and for the h1 let's set the font size to 60 pixels and let's set the text aligned to center and the font weight to lighter and uh, let's add a letter spacing of 4 pixels and uh, let's set the margin to 0 and let's add a padding for top and bottom and let's set it to 30 pixels right now let's style this image so let's tap header IMG and for the image let's add a height of 100% and let's set the width to 100% and let's also set object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions for the image. Right now let's style all this content divisions so we can see that we have this uh, division with the class of content and it is inside this section with an ID of horizontal. So let's type hash horizontal content and uh, let's set the height of the content to 100 viewport height and let's set the width to 100 viewport width and here we can see that all the content divisions are displayed over here now we want all of them to be displayed one next to the other so let's target the container which is horizontal so let's tap 
horizontal and let's set the display to flex and now we can see that all this content are displayed one next to the other now let's continue styling this so here let's set the display to grid and place items to the center and uh, let's add different background colors to this content so here let's tap horizontal content colon nth child one so this will select the first instance of content and let's add a background color of ef 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 and i'll just copy this and paste it three more times and for the second one let's add a color of fb 6 c 6 c and for the third one let's add a color of 4 fe 191 and for the last one let's add a color of aca 3 ff and here we need to change this to nth of child 2 3 and 4 and now we can say that we have different colors for each of this content now we don't want each of these content divisions to shrink so we want to have the full width of 100 viewport width so here we need to type flex shrink and we need to set it to zero and now we can see that we have this content and here we have the next content and here we have the third and the fourth content so now let's go ahead and set the font size to 32 pixels and let's set the font weight to bold and let's add a letter spacing of 4 pixels and let's tap text transform to uppercase and uh, it looks alright alright now let's style this footer so let's tap footer and uh, let's set the max width to 700 pixels and let's set the margin left and right to auto and let's add a line height of 1.9 and this is how the photo looks so i think with that we have completed styling this page so we have all this content displayed over here now what we need to do is we need to disable this option of scrolling to the right what we need to do is uh, when we scroll down this should scroll to the left automatically so for that let's go back and uh, let's go to this horizontal division and here we need to type overflow x and we need to set it to hidden and now we can see that there is no option for us to scroll to the right but we're going to add that option using the library called scroll trigger which is a plugin of gsap so let's get the cdn so you can just google for scroll trigger cdn and you'll find this website called gsap.com docs plugins scroll trigger and here if you scroll down we have this sample code but uh, we need to get the cdn so let's go over here to installation and uh, let's go to cdn and uh, here we need to select this plugin called scroll trigger so let's click on that and if you scroll down here we have the code that we can copy so let's copy this code from here and uh, let's paste it inside our html file so let's paste it right here and now we will be able to use the gsap library so let's go to the main.js file and first of all we need to register the plugin so let's tap gsap dot register plugin and here we need to type scroll trigger and then we need to select all the content inside this horizontal division because we need to add the horizontal scroll animation for that so let's type const and let's call all of that contents equals gsap dot utils dot array and here we need to add the selector so the selector is horizontal content and uh, now let's go ahead and type gsap.2 and here first of all we need to add the element which is contents so let's type contents and then we need to add an object and uh, here we need to type the values for the animations so first of all we need to type x percent and uh, we need to set it to minus 100 times the number of content so let's type contents dot length minus 1 right now let's go back to our website and uh, i think we have some errors so let's right click and go to inspect and here we have this error it says that gsap utils array is not a function so let's go back and uh, the problem is that we need to change this to to array so now if you go back 
here we can see that the animation is working so if i reload this page we can see that the horizontal scroll is working but uh, we need to scroll it when we scroll on the website not automatically so right now if we reload this page it is automatically scrolling to the left so we need to control the scrolling so for that we will use this scroll trigger plugin so let's tap scroll trigger and let's add an object over here and uh, first of all we need to set the trigger so let's tap trigger and we need to provide the element over here so the element is the section with an id of horizontal so let's tap horizontal and the next thing we need to do is we need to pin it so when we scroll down and go to that section we need to pin the section to the screen till the animation is completed so let's tap pin of true and uh, then we need to go ahead and add one more option called scrub so this will make sure that when we scroll down or up it will control the animation so let's set it to one and now if you go back here we can see that if you scroll down and if you scroll down again here we have the scroll animation working so when we scroll up or down it will scroll to the left and right based on the scroll position so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add this horizontal scroll effect to your website using gsap and scroll trigger so here you can add any content you want so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day